So you're an aspiring YouTuber, or maybe you're the parent of an aspiring YouTuber. You've got your idea, you're ready to start your channel, but wait a second, you gotta get some gear. You're gonna wanna launch with three things, quality visuals, lighting, and sound. Great news, we've got you covered for under 150 bucks if you already have a camera and 350 bucks if you don't, because not everyone has access to studio grade cameras and lighting like we do. Super quick aside though, this video is aimed at beginners looking to make more traditional YouTube video formats. Things like vlogs, hauls, how-tos. There are other types of videos that might require more specialized equipment, like this gimbal. That's for a future video. Let's kick things off with cameras. You probably already have a good one. In fact, you're probably watching this video on it right now. Hmm. Yep, you guessed it. It's your cell phone. Most phones from the past few years take perfectly serviceable video. Overall, it's a great place to start. But what if your phone has a broken lens or you're a parent who doesn't want to buy their kid a cell phone? Well, for that, I really like the iPod Touch. It's got a decent camera and you get access to the App Store, which is full of video apps, plus free editing software with iMovie. Currently, I use an iPhone 11 Pro, which takes amazing video, so no problems there. But for the sake of this video, let's use an iPhone 6S that we have laying around in a non-studio location. So we found a room to set up in. It's pretty dark in here. There's only one single light source and it's pointing down because it's on the ceiling, which obviously isn't great. And it's a little bit backlit. So let's go back in the studio and talk about lighting. If you're gonna use a cell phone or an iPod to shoot your video, you're gonna need good lighting. Now you've probably seen those massive 18 inch ring lights for sale online, but they're really expensive. And if you're just starting out, you probably don't need to go there. Oh! Overkill! I really like this eight inch ring light from Ubisize. It's USB powered, it comes with its own tripod, and it has 11 different brightness settings and three different color temperature settings, so you can pretty much shoot in any room. Not to mention, it costs under 30 bucks. It's not so small that you have to sit right up against it when you're recording, but it's also compact enough that you can move it a little farther away and not have a huge footprint wherever you're shooting. We're back in our vlog studio on our iPhone 6S. Let there be light. Ah, so much better, right? So this little ring light shoots in a daylight white temperature, which is what you're seeing right now. But if you want something a little more specialized, you can switch it up to a cool white or even a warm white. But for the purposes of this video, let's go back to daylight. It looks so nice. It also has a wide range of brightness settings, so whether you're sitting up close or a little farther away, you're gonna be able to have the light catch you, which is fantastic. Goes all the way from dim to, wow, my future's so bright, I have to wear shades. So we've got our camera, we've got our lights, and now we need to talk about sound. It's a little bit echoey in here. Is there anything more important than high quality video? Yes, audio. Audio is what keeps your viewers watching. It is the thing that elevates a good video to a great video. It doesn't matter what you're shooting on, as long as it has a headphone jack or adapters into a headphone jack, you know what I'm talking about. Rode makes this awesome little microphone called the Video Micro that's about 60 bucks and sounds great. It even comes with this little shock mount, which is awesome if you take your filming on the go. It's not gonna pick up any unwanted bumps or vibrations. Two small caveats though with this. One, if you're using an Apple device, you're gonna need what's called a patch cable, it will run you about 15 bucks. And on top of that, you're gonna wanna buy what's called a cold shoe mount. So this is just a little tiny device that goes on your tripod. It's pretty cheap, under $10, and it'll enable you to put your microphone up there and not have to worry about it falling off anywhere. Okay, let's put it all together. We've got camera, we've got lights, and now the video micro is plugged in, giving us a much better audio quality. Now, this isn't studio grade videography, but that's okay. Sometimes you just have to work with what you can afford. And this is a pretty inexpensive setup. Even just adding this tiny bit of polish can make the difference when you want your viewer to come back video after video. 
there you have it. Three inexpensive ways to make your content look and sound a thousand times better. And we'll put product links down in the description. And if you're a seasoned creator, drop your best gear recommendations down in the comments. Be good humans. Thank you.